What's up, everybody? Welcome to Wasted Attention Podcast. Today, we got Beyond the Pit episode number eight. Today, we are talking about upcoming albums of 2019. Before we get into that, I got some shit I got to discuss with you guys. Last week, I did that uh, the story about Kiss, the shit going on between Ace Freely and the rest of the guys. Well, a couple days ago, the shit got weirder. So, I got to let you know, Ace Freely's girlfriend apparently is going online telling everybody that Kiss tried to have Ace Freely killed in the Bahamas in the 19, I don't know, 70s. Now, the first question I got for you, you, you got to look up this girl. I think her name is Rachel Gordon. I don't know. What the fuck does she know? <laughs> this don't make any sense to me. I don't even think she was born in the 70s. So why the fuck would she know? Oh, I don't know. I'm a little frustrated, but here we go. Let me let me read you her uh, little quote on Facebook. So after all that shit went down, Ace had that that rebuttal to Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley from that Guitar World interview shit. Her quote is, Let me tell you, they tried to have Ace killed in the 70s. Tried sending him to a so-called private party in the Bahamas. Ace is very sober now and knows what's happening. He sees things clearly now. He doesn't need a chain of lowbrow restaurants. He plays the guitar. That's what he does. Fuck them. (laughs) <laughs> what the fuck does that what does it have to do with anything how would she know you weren't fucking there like she's not even married to Ace Freely he's still fucking married to his other wife alright so that that hmm. Ace is very sober now and knows what's happening why didn't he fucking bring this shit up before he still wants a fucking job he still wants to play and kiss uh, what the fuck is going on I don't understand I don't know. Ace and this chick seem crazy. I don't know. I know that's <laughs> that might offend some people, but what the fuck do you make out of it? I don't know. I tried to have him killed in the Bahamas in the 70s. That's it? That's all the information you're going to fucking give us? What'd they do? Try to poison his fucking guacamole? Kill him one chip at a time? Fuck it, we need details here. You can't just say shit like that and then be like, he doesn't need lowbrow restaurants, he just wants to play guitar. And then on top of that, he's like, hey, I want an offer to fucking play again. It don't work that way. The fuck is going on? I should have known once he started, once Ace made that count, comment about Gene Simmons groping his wife, I should have known this would have got weirder. I should have known she would have put her two fucking cents in, to which she has no information. I'm just going to start rambling saying shit. I don't know, man. You can't you can't just say shit like this. It it, it bothers me. <laughs> I can't wait to hear what Gene or Paul say, if anything at all. They may they may not fucking say a goddamn thing. They might just let this blow over. I mean, is anybody buying this shit? No, I. <sighs> I don't know, man. I think it's just desperate tries trying to get back into fucking trying to get back in kiss or maybe. He's, they're both upset that he's not in it. I don't know. Maybe he's never going to be. He sure holds a lot against him. Apparently, Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons got a thing about Ace making money. They cost him millions of dollars, apparently, somehow. I don't know. Is anybody buying this shit? Am I off base? Am I wrong? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. That's all I got. That's all I got this week. We'll see uh, what lies in store for us next week. Hopefully something good. Maybe nothing at all. Maybe it's going to be another fucking boring week. Who knows? But uh, without further ado, let's get into the upcoming albums of 2019. What's up, guys? Welcome to Wasted Attentions Beyond the Pit, Episode 8. We're going to talk about 2019 release prospects. You? you? I'm excited. <laughs> hey, yay. Yay. This is going to be the year of metal and wasted attention because we're going to have a full year <laughs> yeah. of actually uh, being cool. together. Wow. What are we going to get uh, each other? Like for a full year. Ooh. Is that the oh, that's a good question. I, is that the di- is that the I don't know. Paper? I don't know. It's one of them. Mm. But uh, let's jump it off. Red's right. got the list, so he's got to break it down. We're gonna start. Uh, I think this is one of our uh, favorite bands all around. Lamb of God. Oh, yeah. is there a date on that or when they're expecting? They it? said oh, hopefully by Christmas. So that's the end, end of the of, year. Okay. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Well. We got Mark doing his thing right now. Yeah, so that's so, going to take up some time. That makes sense. Randy's a professional photographer, <laughs> which, it, like, literally, it's like, crazy. Legit? Oh, my yeah, God. It's yeah. insane. What's up with everybody it's in, like, metal, like, singers going into, like, photography? What, Hunter's you know, going on. Yeah. It's just because, I Shout mean, metal is the avenue of, like, <laughs> oh. I mean, we like coffee. 
and and that, and that guitarist that was in Throwdown, he's a photographer too. Is he? Um, the one that was the uh, for those Pantera years. Yeah, not that I like to describe it as Pantera years, but Pantera <laughs> maybe I'm kind of feeding into the hype, the bad hype. Yeah. Eh. But what I guys... love those fucking albums. Fuck you guys. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I know. All you yeah. hating ass bitches. Yeah. I didn't want to touch Throwdown before then, you know? Yeah. When we now it got me to go like... back and listen to some Yeah. The, the, there's a couple albums before. Um, Venom and Tears? Yeah. Yeah. That are. Oh, yeah. It's the good. album right before that was, I think, the closest to Pantera. Anyways, Lamb of God. <laughs> 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 Wasted attention. <laughs> no. What are you guys expecting of this uh, album? Hold it, up, hold it up to your mouth like a dick. Okay. Everybody, so what are you guys expecting of this uh, new Lamb of God album? Are, I, with, uh, Is there going to be more singing? singing? Yeah. I think, I, 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 I think so. I think he's yeah. pushing for and it. And I'm not against it. No, Neither am I. I, like, I liked Overlord. That's, yep. the one, that's the name of it, yep. right? Okay. That's the one that was on Mark's yeah. album? No. No, not, no, no, that was... Well, the one on Mark's album, he's singing too. Is he really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Hmm. I didn't listen to it because I was like, I don't need to hear this first for the Mark Hunters or Mark Morton stuff. Yeah. I don't want to hear Lamb of God version two first. But, yeah, so I don't but know. it's probably I good. Think I, more, it's not, not any hate. Not yeah. Any, but. but, yeah, dude, I, I don't know. I think more singing was cool. I, you, are they going to yeah. throw it back to, like, oldish? No, or no, you think no, they're no, just going to... No? Gonna, no? They're going to ride what these last albums have been, and it's going to be more commercially successful. That's Do, what I'm feeling. Hmm. Man, I don't know if I want to talk too much about this stuff, but... I feel like this is, we can make an episode out of this one, but we can. Well, how how did you feel about that last album, though? I don't. Altogether, was it cool? Or, yeah. Or there are other ones that you obviously prefer. More. I'm always, you know, dude. I'm like, the I'm the old you, school right? guy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I think like we all like go back to what we got into, like what originally got us into it. So that's why I'm hoping that there's like, I wouldn't mind more singing, but make the heavier stuff kind of older like ashes of the wake you're never like gonna that. get that again. i know though. it's just a moment in time that you can never recapture mm-hmm. <laughs> no it's uh you know <clears throat> i honestly as much as i like lamb of god i think that it started falling off a little bit for me with wrath yeah wrath kind of got what? out there yeah i know no wrath what? was good Dude, wrath, wrath, wrath was my was favorite good, one. but that was the change it was exactly that was the yep. change into all these later th- these last few albums it's like they have a signature sound. It's Lamb mm-hmm. of God. Yeah. Yep. But so that's why I'm hoping maybe the singing throws something different, and then they draw me back in with that. Mm-hmm. Can that I might, say that might recapture? Since we're talking about Wrath, can I say like that's the most epic like intro song? Oh, is it? Fucking, oh my god! To a god. fucking like banger, dude. It, it is. I love that. I love the passing just as it is, me too. like acoustically, it's pretty... and then the way it builds up to it. And oh, oh. I like that, after that song ends, it's hard. that other one that they made the video for. Oh, and then uh, bam, bam, bam. Uh, set to fail. Yep, right set after. To fail. Uh, no, not set to fail. Is that what that one was? Or, or uh, that's what it sounded like to me. <laughs> You're probably talking about uh, contractor. Contractor. Yeah. 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 Ooh. Fuck yeah, man. No, hey. uh, they're getting into the weird shit, like how they had Chino on that one song with Ember. Oh, yeah. that's like my favorite song on that. Yeah, that one's awesome. Yep. And I like the one with uh, uh. Ah, oh, fuck, uh, fucking um, Greg, Greg from uh, yep. Dillinger Escape Plan. So, love Greg. Awesome. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. December. That's a whole year. No. That's insane, dude. Yeah, so That'll it's, so it's gonna I be wonder. highly anticipated. For sure. <laughs> we should have been a. We should have had like a hype meter for these. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> this one's like off next the year. We'll know. <laughs> yep. All right. All right. <laughs> the next one you guys already know. Kill Switch Engage. Yep. Oh yeah. When's that this was one? that was actually due out 2018, but with was it really. Yeah, the the plan was 2018, but Jesse blew out, you know, his vocals. I don't necessarily I think he, he had a blow out, but he had like a pulp he had or surgery. Like yeah, that. he had to have surgery, so I think that's why it got delayed. But that should be early 2019. But he said that surgery improved his vocals, after, yeah. like afterwards. So hmm. he's never yeah, felt better. Yeah, that. yeah. I feel like the vocal injury is like the Tommy John of <laughs> Tommy John. You know what I mean? Even so? I do. I do. I, I don't. don't know. No, dude. I don't. Dude, all right. So here's the deal with this. It's happened to a lot of people, though. It has. Look at Corey, man. But yeah. Corey still had it. But he, but he changed it intentionally. I think. Do you think so? Yeah, because that's when it. that's when he was yeah. talking in uh fucking what was that fifty one fifty? Yeah. I 30, mean thirty thirty one fifty whatever the 30, fuck that 30, is. Because he had that high pitched, 
fucking screaming that, and everyone was kind of like, "What? What, are you, what the what are you fuck doing? is this?" Yeah, because yeah. I remember he changed up for Iowa, and he was saying that he was kind of regretting it because it was kind of hard to follow. Yeah, yeah. And continue. Yeah, yeah. he did a few things. Yeah, monster of an album, man. So he's a I monster don't know, of a vocalist. Yeah, man. yeah dude, he still is. Corey's a monster, dude. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. Like, kills um, all the shit that he's been going through, uh, and as far as as far as I've seen and followed, it's supposed to be heavier. Than their last few releases. Okay. Yeah, he wrote something about being real angry, ain't it? Yeah, like this is. I more. think he said this might be the heaviest. Which the there last are al- there are artists that say that too. Yeah, I know, but I'm gonna go hard been, on this album. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna rate it hard. I'm gonna go hard on. But it. the thing is, I hard, mean, hard, hard, hard. I think uh, when Jesse came back, that album was dude. That went hard, dude. Because I didn't yes, I didn't totally. like Incarnate. Yeah, and see, that was more commercial. I like the both. I like. I. I mean, yeah. I feel like they're two in their own vein of what Kill Switch is. Yeah. I don't. Mm, which is fine. I. Don't, I, I can't hate it. Jesse did come back hard, dude. Yeah, like I, when uh, on fucking um, what was the name of that one when he came back? Uh, what the one with? Uh, oh, you mean a long time ago? Yeah, in 2013. Um, 12 or thirteen. What was the name of that? Uh, disarm the descent. There you I, go. Yeah, there you go. I like that one. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. That yeah, that's what that was his first album back, dude. And I thought I, mean, I thought you meant band like after Kill Switch. Oh, band. Yeah, after Kill Switch. Yeah, that's what I thought oh. he was saying. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I got a feeling, dude, that I don't know. He, there's a lot of shit going on, and I think it might. It, it's like you said, like he, when you guys were talking to the bleed the sky, and mm-hmm. that's what kind of yes. metal brings. I dude, I promise you, and I think it's gonna be a lot of heavier parts. Because think about Adam D doing Serpentine That Dominion. was just going to mention that, yeah. Mm. They got all these little things that they're kind of feeling. Yeah, get times of gr- seasonings. Times of Grace is going to go... Are they doing another one of that? They, they are eventually, but Remember that's going to be the Remember when we saw them? Shit. He said there's another one coming. Oh, yeah, yeah, when yeah. When I was yeah. talking it's to Jesse. Because I asked him, yeah. It's just gonna, I, remember, I remember that now. They all got so much shit going on. But I think Times of Grace is going to be the avenue for the soft shit. Kill Switch is going to be the heavier... It's gonna, a, it's, like gonna a, it's gonna be a. It's gonna be a heavier version. It's gonna be of, like Corey Slipknot and Stone Sour. Yeah. It's gonna be Kill Switch, obviously, but yeah. Get I just got to feel what you said though, JD. How What's you up? said that with that album with Kill Switch, you felt like they were too much in their own vein. I feel that like anything you do differently with Kill Switch, it's still gonna be Kill Switchy. I'm not saying it's a negative thing. It's, yeah. But do you feel that album you're talking about was just incarnate? Yeah. Just, I feel like they're just, going through the same steps over and over. Yeah. I. No. I the, is know. musically yes. What point does it become a signature sound versus? The but same I feel like Army Jesse like, uh, breaks uh, it up. For see, me, uh, no, he, dude, he, I'm telling you, his his patterns are different to me. To me, he's like maybe, but I'm not even talking about Jesse. I'm talking about music. Yeah, there's musically. nothing they're gonna get. I don't. I don't think they're gonna push it enough. You know what I mean? Like you're not gonna get. You're gonna get kill switch as far as the music goes. Yeah, but, but also for me, kill switch is. Lyrical content and right. that's, the sound of passion. I don't know, man. And that's just me. I think the, the problem sound of is... passion. <laughs> I was like, oh, nice. Yeah. Is we're now in our 30s debating these bands that have been around 15, 20 years that have relied on that signature sound. Lamb of God, that last album, it was still Lamb of God. If yeah. you take it away at the brass tacks, it wasn't Lamb of God. Well, it's like weird because it maybe you just get to this point where it's just... When you have so many fucking albums, maybe you're just... I don't know, you man. got that sound. Maybe there's nothing you can do about it. There isn't. Look at the last Machine Head album. It's man. that different it like headspace, man. Fucking thing. Yeah. Then, then, yeah. How do you stay angry and hungry mm-hmm. and all that shit? And, and then it feels generic. Like yeah. Machine Head, that last album, the lyrical content, which we obviously we know how we feel about that, was so fucking like. But even some of them song fucking, I don't know. That's a whole goddamn. Yeah. That's why I'm, I'm telling you, dude. The the vocals are gonna be heavier on this Kill Switch album than they were on I, the last. I could see that. The vocals will be heavier. Vocals will be heavier, but will the music I hope change? they just go full on out for the, at least one album. Right. I know they're still going to be singing. I'm not... Obviously, yeah. I love singing, but I want fucking balls to the wall fucking metal. Yep. One of my favorite other... You Don't Bleed For Me, that yeah. was a cool... That had a different sound as far as musically goes. I don't know. The guitars or the... The tone's always going to be the same. Yeah. Like, you know? I got a feeling they could let... uh the drums go a little bit more because you he, know he did a he, lot he on did, that fucking 
Disarmed to Descent. Or Disarmed to Descent, yeah. yeah. He had some like blast beats and shit. Mm-hmm. And That's what I'm saying. If yeah. you if you release I had no him, idea he could do that. if you release him, well, he was in. Uh, yeah, you told me the band. Blood has been shed. Is that what it is? Okay. If you release him, dude, it's gonna sound totally different. If yep. you just let him, he go makes crazy. that little kit sound loud. He does, yeah. doesn't he, man? <laughs> so, like yeah. an eighteen-inch kick or something. It's ridiculous. Well, we got even next. even he doesn't, have, what he doesn't have a lot of like, symbol-wise. <laughs> he doesn't have a lot of symbols and uh-huh. all that stuff. Less but, is more, but, man. But, but he, he did he upgrade it anytime not recently? I don't know. Or is it still pretty small? I think he's still riding the Yamaha. Oh Jesus! Eighteen-inch still pretty small. Well, look at Vinny. Vinny was using a twenty-two, man. Fucking He's a big guy. Jesus. What we got now? Fear Factory. Yep, oh, of course. Really? Come on, yep, guys. Really? How could we not? Oh. How's your Burton gonna be? I'm over here crossing off my list. Uh, you got the same things, right? yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what? It's gonna be the same old shit. I'm sorry. How are we looking? What what, what, what time? What timeline, buddy? Do they have one? Huh? A timeline? For I don't. It? I don't have the timelines. I, I, just... I didn't see anything either. But okay. what probably... do you what are you thinking? Like, <sighs> see, I'm only like well versed in fucking divine heresy and archetype. I gotta go back and listen You're to like out on so the pre. Much. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, that's our feel, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's our signature for all. I think to give it justice, all. I have to go back and listen to D Manufacturer and what's yep. the other one? Uh, D Manufacturer, Digimortal, Fear is a Mind Killer. You probably would more dig along Digimortal than I know a couple songs off that because they had a one that was uh, one song was in fucking uh, Resident Evil. It was. End. I can't think of it right now. Feels like a frozen in heaven. Yeah, I like that song. It's a good song. You know, I love... I love. And uh, obviously Lynchpin on that one. Obviously. I love me some Fear Factory, but they're a band that's never going to change. It's going to be the same formula. Dino's going to run the show. He's going to run it into the ground, unfortunately. Again, I'm sorry. The guy... (laughs) Yeah. yeah. But if you listen to all these other bands, like... I promise you, I hear Fear Factory in every fucking hey, band that I not listen lying. to. Yeah, no. uh, the, the there, have been, there have been interviews with Dino about that. Yeah. Like, there's corn songs up. that are using the same thing. There's um, Dude, Rob's voice in a lot of yeah, Machine yeah, Head. He even I hear said, fucking... Rob said his his vocal style is, is Burton. Based yep. off of, yep. yeah. I, I, just, I, I just, let's put it this way. Without being negative, I hope that they're happy. You know, I want them to succeed. Are they good? Because I feel like I, I heard some where they're like I, heard I feel like Dino's of, always got something. There's you know always I mean? something going on with Dino, from what you hear on the blogs yeah, and everything. We don't, I don't know, know, obviously, but I just want to, you know, he's in there not letting them play anything off of Archetype, which was a huge fan favorite. Like, there's fans yeah. that want to hear it. Squash it, dude. Let it go. Give the fans what they want to yeah, hear. Oh, there's you know? no way. There's no fucking That's never chance in hell. Happen. No, it's never gonna happen. Okay, so here's the deal. Just make another archetype, and then we'll be able to hear something similar well, live. Dino, or we'll just, are we, are we yep. not gonna have Dino on it? Right. Uh, you know what though? No. Dino is a he killer can, writer, though. No, he is. That's not. It's his. Here's ugh. the here. I think Burton's best vocals was on archetype. Yes. Yes. Yep. That and agree. his his patterns and the way he wrote everything. So mm-hmm. if he could if he could maybe mimic that, Dead but that's because Christian was in there writing the patterns out. You know, it's hard. You just hope that they're they're functioning well together. You want them to have a good, healthy, healthy album cycle. You just hope that it's not going to be. You write the cancer has been removed. The soul of this machine is improved, and you're right back smack to it. Hey, sometimes cancer comes back. That's true. It does. That's a good point. I just I don't know. And you got to beat it again. I didn't. I didn't hear Fear Factory <laughs> coming out. And yeah, I'm like, dude. like, oh no, I can't wait. It's a relapse. Uh, Yo. There you go. I was thinking of remission, but that's the other way. That's the other way. Slipknot. That's good. So waiting obviously. for this. Waiting, man. So I'm not that excited, but you know that's. Just I me. am. I'm, I didn't. Really I like love Slipknot one. still to this day. Uh, heavier, softer, um, same, it, same old shit. I think they're I gonna, think I think gonna, gonna try and push it more than the last album. You think so? Yeah, I think so. We're still gonna have at least two soft commercial hits, and I'm fine with Everybody that. Right? It sounds good. Throw it sounds throw good. two hits on there and give me something insane, because I know they could do something insane, dude. Like, I know I know you're fucking Corey Taylor and you're catchy and you write good stuff, but right. give me something insane. Yeah. So how do we feel about All Out Life that has come out? Do we think that that's? I think that's one of the commercial hits, dude. Yeah. That's that's why I it's just out don't first. Yeah. yeah. They're okay. trying. They're trying to. Get attention, mm-hmm. different audiences. But they've been around so long, dude. That like, we're the old fan base. The yeah. new fan base wants the new stuff. True style. Yep. True. So who do you, who do you please? 
don't know. That's true. You God just got to please yourself. And <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, just rub one out. Just rub one out. Come on. Yeah. Talk to anybody who's like 10 years younger than us, and, they're, and they don't want to like talk about wait and bleed. And No, their Iowa is subliminal verses. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which that like that turned us off for well uh, me it turned me off for like a couple months and then I transition. and then I re listen and I'm like oh god damn these are great songs but we're never gonna get another Iowa because I, I feel like Iowa Iowa would be like the lowest on my list for Slipknot if I'm would being it? honest yeah what's your highest <sighs> you like the newer ish uh, I would probably say either the, either the first one or Subliminal yeah okay um all hope is gone isn't bad. I didn't, yeah. That's that transition, too. Yeah. Uh, Iowa, man. Just Iowa. We'll make a list such of these a fucking eventually. monster. You still listen to Iowa? To this day. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> Fuck yeah. That album was just so. I mean, everybody, like Ivan was saying in the last podcast, you're in a different time and place. Everybody was so angry. Uh, you know, like <laughs> that whole 515 track. Obviously, it was Sid, but he said that he thought of that idea on the way to his grandpa's funeral when they were film when they were recording that. Mm-hmm. That whole like, Dah! like going into the people equal shit. I getting all horny yeah. now from that man. Oh, that was a shit man. Fuck yeah, dude. That was such a good album. Oh, that was wait. like the epitome of like new metal ish. Yep. For us in our time. <laughs> the, the, the it's crazy oh. like how how wide the the range of new metal like the label is. Yeah. You know, cuz you got like um I got uh, N- I got NU like core... and then I got NEW. <laughs> <Yeah>. oh, <that's laughs> true. Think that's about true. it. <laughs> you know? Cuz you uh cuz it gets lumped in the same category cuz it was um Corn and Limp Bizkit and then all of a sudden like just cuz in that same period you got fucking Slipknot, Slipknot Mudvayne yep. and Mudvayne, yeah. So it's it's crazy like how much people? All right, you got American metal, it. and then you got American new metal, and then no. you got new metal. I mean, we could go. <laughs> East, I don't know. East Coast hardcore. Nobody else has this many fucking genres. It's crazy. Yeah. But you know, metal's not diverse, so yeah. <sighs> and then, so, also, I mean, hell yeah. Yeah. Yep. Hell yeah. What? Oh, that last. I, album. I'm not into hell yet, but not I want to so give him a chance because, like, their first album put me off. Because I don't know if it was the very first album yeah. put you off. Yeah, wow. that put me on. Like, and then like, um, I got. I think it was like Chance vocals. I didn't think it would really fit. You know, there are those moments. Yeah, and then, um, but I love Chad. Like yeah. Mudbane, I fucking yeah. love the right. shit. Out of you Mudbane. can't touch him. But I'm looking forward to see what they're going to do mm-hmm. as a tribute to. Yep. Yes. To Vinny. Look Is there any idea of, like what they're going to do afterwards? They haven't said anything, it's, it's but I'll nothing. Put Austin's 20 gonna bucks. drum for them. <laughs> Austin, <laughs> Austin, Austin, 20 20 it ain't out. really happening, but you ready? Just twenty bucks out right now to each one of you. We'll see Mudvayne before twenty twenty one. That's my bet. I hope so, dude. I, this is happen. the bet I would like. That to would lose. be fucking awesome. Yep, it's gonna happen. <sighs> Who's gonna talking? drum for Hell Yeah? Well, I don't think for they're the, gonna do a. What if they got Matt? You don't think they're gonna tour? No. What if they got Matt for the tour? I wonder. Maybe. That'd be cool. It would be. Cool. I mean, but I don't. You think they're just releasing an album yep. and then it's that's it? That's it. I think that out of respect, just like the whole Pantera. Well, that's cool too. That. But I was thinking this earlier for some reason. I don't know why I was thinking about Hell Yeah, but I was like, even though Vinny's gone, like, do you stop making music with those guys? Obviously, he's, you got they a gotta, question. They, they got a, a lot of people keep it going, just like all that and remains. Like, they keep it going in respect. True. Yeah, it's like, do you want to just? Well, do you name it something else? And even then, if you're making music with yeah. the same guys, why even call it something else? Why not yeah. carry on that legacy? True. You know, I don't see anybody feeling. So the, I would say uh, the same thing about all, uh, dude, Alice in Chains too. Yeah, yeah. but like, nobody can f- fill the drum. It's Vinny, man. That that yeah, sound but do you was think because of Vinny? Right. Yeah, but yeah. do you think Vinny would like want them to stop though? No, absolutely not. I don't think so then you, it becomes, the, the so, thing is though too. You got people that are influenced by certain drummers. That's why Slipknot has who they have now is because he was highly influenced mm-hmm. by Joey. Right. Um. There are people that drum similar to Vinnie Paul. True. And it's easier to replace a drummer than a vocalist. Oh yeah, obviously. Yeah. Like, with that being said, the, though, I'm why haven't we seen a Pantera reunion? Because they didn't want to touch Dime's legacy. Well, that's all. Well, that it, it's a Sam. lot to do with their how they got along. True. The way it ended and all True. that shit. Yes. I just I think Vinny gonna... Vinny would not right put it to rest. I'm telling you, I think they're gonna leave Hell Yeah. As yeah, I think Hell Yeah. That's it. This is the last album. That's a, a send off to Vinny. Yep. And then that's kind of it. I'm because, still... dude, like you said, I don't. There's not. 
I think everybody fed off Vinny. They did. They didn't feed off Chad. They didn't feed off the, like, where, you know, they fed off him. Yeah, but weren't they making music before, and they were, like, trying to get fucking Vinny in? They were. But I think that was the re. They were, like... It clicked. Yeah, Yeah. but even those, those, just those guys making... But the first album was different to me. The first album got me, and then after that, I fell off. Stampede was great. I really like Stampede. Yeah, Band of Brothers me. was good. I'll have to check it out. The last, mm, the last know. album that they did with uh, the Phil Collins cover, I Don't Care Anymore. Is it really? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> they had a lot of songs on Octane, man. Like I think there was a song called something with the most the so f- most popular forgot. one I remember was Moth, right? Something Moth was Moth, on yeah. there, and there's another one, but it was really it was catchy, and mm. it's a shame because they were getting mm. up there. <laughs> and this, I, I will not. I, I, you know, there's those moments that stand alone in time. Finding out Dime was dead was fucking catastrophic. I remember going to school hearing that oh, shit. Yeah, man. In the morning. Oh my like, god, what? we were in Orlando, and I, I was scrolling through my Facebook, and it said remember, we were all messaging each other. Yeah, like, Holy I was at shit. work, yeah. and I had a ton of messages and voicemails, shit. and then I got, st- I was stopped at a train. Yeah. And then I was like, man, let me like yeah. see what's going on, and then. I was outside my car, walking around in circles around my car. Like, yeah, and that, that, that doesn't affect like, people like that. It's, it's not supposed to, but yeah, it, it's it does. just because he was, he was genuinely a good guy, well, and like, you could tell. Yeah. So it wasn't like some asshole rock star just passed away. It was like, damn, mm-hmm. this dude genuinely loved his life. He was grateful. He was. Mm-hmm. And like, if any of us, were and how it happened too, like that doesn't yeah. happen in metal. That's not, you know, that doesn't. Ugh. You know what I mean? It's it's, it's very scary. It's a wake up call that you, if if the we don't know, and that yeah. led into what happened with Randy. Randy didn't know what that guy was gonna was yeah. gonna do. So the no shit that happened with Kirk from Crowbar and yelling at that dude because you don't know. Yeah, yep. it's now, insane, dude. You just gotta just, take care of yourself while you're here, man. I know he struggled with some demons with alcohol, and but stuff fucking, like that. it's like what Rob Arnold said too. Like, Dime is one of the most hardest like guitar players to like mimic mm-hmm. it's like, all in his fingers yeah it's all in it's all his person you could you could hear his personality coming out through his guitar almost yeah. you could so play his exact setup on his guitar and you will sound like you yes right that's true I mean, I can, you know. craziness yeah and, all right this one's for Ivan Mushroom Head yep wow. hey really? I gotta cross off my Seriously? list man yeah wow yep I am excited what? to hear what they're gonna do because that new singer what they got in Nothing's Place yeah. Sounds like nothing in nothing's prime. Huh. Interesting. And I want to see if he's going to bring anything different. Because he, so, I, uh, I believe, if I remember right, that was the bass player in um, Pitch Black Forecast that J, that band J-Man was yeah. doing okay. vocals for. Wow. That's a killer one, too, man. And yeah. he, So he's doing the vocal? He was the bass player? I believe he was the bass player in that band. So who do we got left? Just Skinny and fucking uh, J-Man? Yep. 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 Wow. Oh, um, um, uh, no. Um, Stitch. Stitch is there? Oh, Stitch. Okay. Yep. Okay. Stitch and, yeah. Wow. Shit. Yeah, that was one of the them. bands Keep that going. got live. I didn't care for them until I seen them live, and I was like, okay, these guys are awesome. Didn't They're we take you great. the first time to see them? Was That was, was that this? was the trip that we got. Did we get free tickets? Yeah, it was Sepultura and Sepultura. And the, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they came out. Oh, I was like, all right. Are you sure? I damn. thought that was different shows. That was the first show I went to. That's the first. That's the no, first but I mean, uh, Sepultura and Mushroom Head were two different shows. Mm-hmm. Was that how yeah, it No, because... Um, it's uh, one of them Boston metalcore bands back in the day. Oh, they did a Pantera cover. Yeah, and then it was supposed to be... And Battle then, uh, Cross? No. Um, they did Mouth for a War. I can't fucking I can't think remember. of it. I'm pretty sure of Sepultura was a different show? Yeah, it was... Sepultura it was, it headlined, was that, right? It was that band and then Sepultura headlined, yeah. Okay. And then, and then we had Mushroom a whole different had... thing because fucking Dare Who Not Speak His Name was supposed to come meet us up there with Mushroom Head because yeah. we took the train yeah. and he ended up yeah. with some big-titted bitch. Who knows? Oh no, that was something else. I thought yeah, that was the same show because I didn't. It was uh, one of our buddy, yeah, yeah. Show. I took that. I took that one chick to the show. Mush, yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. I'm tell- So yeah, Mushroom Heads' new album. That's I'll check it. I'm not as excited to see. I want to hear what, <laughs> what, what, what Jay Man's gonna do yeah. too. Is is he gonna snap or is he gonna rap or is he gonna snap and rap? Snap rap. You're gonna get. Yeah, that dude, well, he's probably gonna uh, do both. But uh, like, dude, man, Jay Man's vocals is fuck, and his lyrics are yes, fucking dude. band oh. fucking tastic. Oh, I love that shit. He's got yeah. full yeah. vocab. We gotta get that dude on the show somehow. Dude, <laughs> somehow. dude. <laughs> gotta get him on. Cool. That'd be awesome. Ohio, Ohio, Cleveland. Yep. I know, dude. They they produce some good shit. And then uh, I don't know, it's you cold. White Chapel. Yeah. Yep. Got to cross that one off. I, like <laughs> I never listened to White Chapel, one. dude. You're missing out. On I know. White I, Chapel, I hear you guys dude. talking about them all the time. Dude, White Chapel's. They're shit. heavy, heavy though. 
Like to me, like for what I don't he, know if that's dude, something. He's singing. Yeah, I know. That's a oh, fucking killer, dude. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and it's good. it's good. You know, I knew like you could, I sometimes you keep that right shit now. in your back pocket for you know four or five albums. Yeah, and then you throw it out there to change it up. Mm-hmm. Especially a deathcore band coming. What what's the response the to that? I didn't think really a lot of hate. Do you think you should like butter that shit in like? Early just on, sprinkle it in, sprinkle early it in here and there, or do you want to, or do you do what they do now and just fucking well, like hate? I like how it, it comes is. out of nowhere, and it's like, what the fuck? I didn't know you could do that. You can't do that. And and that's, yeah, but that's us. If you took There's this and put it on this is exile, it. I'd be like, this fucking doesn't belong on here. Now with this new shit, like the two new tracks that we've heard off this new album, fits right in. I'm hey. excited, man. Hey. Yeah. it's crazy. How, like the singing to the how heavy his Yo. vocals are. Mm-hmm. Those nice open <laughs> notes, man. That's the biggest contrast, I think, of like real, real, real fucking heavy vocals to a singing out of anybody that's yep. out there. Yep. Right I now. think we, I think we were talking about this when you were gone. I was like, I was, I was like, okay, corpse grinder. Compare the two. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah, I think so, yeah. dude. Yeah, it's fucking. I heard him on the Chimera track. He's a small dude. That's what's crazy. He's like a little. Yeah, I like, like that Jake. meme he's on. Is uh, like <laughs> like most people in the shower, uh-huh. and it's got uh. Who's the chick? Oh, Who knows? That pop star. Ariana oh, yeah. Grande or somebody. No, it's uh, that girl who used to do country. <laughs> Who's the one that used to be country? <laughs> Taylor Swift? Taylor, Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. They yeah. show Taylor Swift, like look like she's hitting a high note, and they said, and then the other one's like me in the shower, and it shows. Yeah, <laughs> he's killing it. <laughs> saw that man. Remember that at uh, yeah. Mayhem? Yeah. That was fun. See, I, I wasn't even into him because it was like, at that point in time, I was like, whoa, these guys are way too heavy for me. And then you go back and listen to the album, you're like, damn. Yeah, who wish you could have been into it at the time, yeah. you know? Right. Who we got? Uh, Okay, obviously, Devil Driver is actually supposed yep. to be really yep. another Are they too. really? Yep. Yeah, well, yep. they just did that. Austin's never getting out of that fucking band. No. Yeah, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> Studio in June of 2019, mm-hmm. okay. and it's going to be a, a double year for them because it, they, they got all... Uh, they said they had like 40-something songs wow. written. Jesus. They're going to cu- drop it down to 20-something, and they're going to do load, back-to-back albums That's for cool. 2019 really? and 2020. They're going to Harry Potter it. Dude, <laughs> Dez, is, Dez is like a businessman, yes, like is. craziness yeah. going on right He's now. A beast. Yep. It's fucking awesome, man. You know, with obviously, we're, we're talking about the Static X tour coming up and how Devil Driver is going to play Cold Chamber songs. I read in an interview that Dez was the manager of Static X for a while. I didn't yeah. know that. That's oh, insane, shit. dude. Yeah. This dude has like, well, he's Ginger, right? He, yeah, yeah, Ginger. Yeah. Didn't he find Ginger? And... He found, and I think he's he's got them. He had them on tour and all that good stuff. What's that other band that you and I like? The female fronted band from Tennessee. Oh, uh, Straight, Straight, Line, Straight Stitch. Line Stitch. He found them too. God really? damn it, yeah. I missed them. Oh, I know, me too, man. Dude, she has some like hard vocals. Like it like ripped like paper, dude. Yeah. Nasty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I loved it, man. Alexis, you know, right? Alexis, Alexis, yeah. Dollars to donuts, man. I think fucking Des has one of like the most ferocious like screams in metal. Okay. Yes. Feel- and and I'm it's not still the just, same. Not it's still the same too. Like he metal. didn't change it right. at all. I think he yeah. I don't know. I was thinking about this earlier too. I was yeah. like just every time mean, he, every time he comes on, it's just like when you think of like a, a fucking just a, a screaming vocalist, like that's the voice I hear in my head for some reason. Just yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's the You're motor. definitely not gonna show Devil Driver to somebody who's just getting in the metal. Right, like, you gotta no. work your way to that. Yeah. You know, you know what's like, even in Cold Chamber too. His yeah. vocal it's fucking awesome. Yeah, fucking that last album, just the self-titled one, man. Oh, oh, Cold Chill's now, like right when he does uh, Cold, when they do cover Cold Chamber, is he gonna like dress a little bit different for those Probably songs? Not. Like, <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, <laughs> like, I hope not. go he backstage and hey, get some piercings really hey, quick. Had a, hey. Outfit change. They had a song on fucking uh, that first Resident Evil uh, track too. They did. Uh, Something told me to tell you. Yeah, that was a good one. That was off that last. If was that, I, that that's Cold Chamber, right? Yep, that was okay. the last Cold Chamber. I know we've talked about Cold Chamber before, and you said you weren't like a huge fan of it. I don't think I've ever heard him besides that. Knowing you, you would like their last album. No, not like, I can't say last because they put out one. It was just a plain, I think it was just self titled, wasn't yeah. it, Ivan? I'm sorry, I'm getting lost the in these tracks. The last, the, 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 <laughs> like the surprise get together with Fiend on it and stuff. The Cold Chamber album, it was black on the front, and they were all skeletons. Wasn't that self-titled? so, dude, is singing um, on that shit? That was, I think so. Uh, I've got to look it up now because I can't remember. Fuck. Um, I don't think that was self titled. It wasn't. Um, Let's see. Shit. Dark Days. Dark, yeah. Dark Days. Dark Days. Dark Days. Check it out. Dark Days. Fucking awesome. And it was more of the metal y side of the new metal. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. But then they had one that came out in 2013 or 14 when they tried coming back called Rival. Oh, 15. 
it was called Rivals. It was eh. they really come back. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think they. Jesus. It's just kind of like they get you know they kind of get that itch to mm-hmm. just do an album. See, yeah, see if it clicks and yeah, it was weird. He had all like on the black <laughs> lipstick stuff. and the stuff dude? and or Des or the Des. dude. Yeah, yeah. what? He was all dressed yeah. Up. yeah, like the he was. fuck out of here. I mean, yeah. who knew? That's like an attitude. You know, that's like a like you said. I don't know. It's <laughs> well, entertainment. You got to get back to time. What if like every time in between like the songs he comes out like he's got like the whatever you're talking about like fishnets and all that shit. It's goddamn makeup off me for doing a double driver song now because I got lost in the upcoming albums. I started looking at my list and I forgot one. I realized it's funny. I'm excited. What do you got right now? Uh, so far we're, you're hitting, hitting them all. It, man. You're Neck hitting them. All right, <laughs> I got uh, corn. Is supposed to be coming out with a new album. Yeah, I heard. Uh, yeah, I heard. Uh, what? Uh, the last couple have not hit no. at all for me. I don't like. We all have different favorite corn albums. We I do. think we do. All go right, for we'll go, favorite. Yeah, tell us. Take a look in the mirror. Follow the leader. Oh. The first one. First one, self-titled. Yeah. Pizza. Are you serious? Yeah. The first one for yeah. you? There's a riffs galore God on that damn. album, man. Ball talk. That's one of my favorite songs. <laughs> for me, it's peachy. Predictable. Is it peachy? 100%. I hate. I hate. What is it? Yours? Peachy. I don't think there's any peachy? song besides Adidas on there that I liked. Uh, <laughs> that's we're all like, yeah, we're dude. I got man. I got like personal stuff for. Yeah, at a time you were going, down. yeah, whatever. You're, yeah, they got me through a lot of time. Hell yeah. Do, yeah. Well, yeah, that whole like. I would give it to Follow the Leader because, dude, they they had like tons of hits and, but I don't know. Take a look in the mirror for me was just heavy. That's heavy. That's, yeah. That's a that heavy was, album. Yeah. That was you, man. That album, you you fucking man. Lonzo got me that one time. for either my birthday. I think it was, it was a nice. Guy. You don't know what to expect from Corn now, though. Like, That's the thing. That a lot that of pre- is a yeah. What the <laughs> fuck are they gonna come out with now? A lot of pretentious fucking attitude. Did you guys hear uh, yeah. Jonathan Davis's solo album? I did. No. I listened to it once or twice. It's not. He can't, it's it not came good. out in 2018. Did it? Did it? Oh, it did. Oh, no. He left it off the list. Uh, Queen of the Game was better. Move on. <laughs> oh, Queen of the Game. There you go. Oh, man. They're just, I think the way they carry themselves, man, is, is so... Corn. Oh, corn. You don't like the way they carry themselves? I don't themselves? like the way they carry no, themselves. A lot of attitude. Um, had a couple of personal run-ins. Not a huge fan of that. Hmm. Preach what you're, what you're, who you are. You know what I mean? You think... Oh. A lot of oh, cockiness show? going on there. Hmm. A lot like, of cockiness. Uh, yeah. I'm not a huge fan. Of. Okay. Not anymore. That's crazy because you were like the corn dude. I was the corn guy. And that's I why it hurts. That so new much, corn God, song, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I started He's on the drumming radio. as a fucking Silvera man yeah. or Silveria, whatever. His Silva, name is. Yeah. Silvia, Silvia. Um, <laughs> we're know. naming Silvia. fucking UFC ref fighters. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Deftones. <laughs> whoop whoop. I'm excited. What another band that I don't know what they what it's gonna is it gonna go heavier is it gonna go softer? That's, that's Deftones. Who fucking knows? I know. Man. Is it gonna be a soft song about something brutal? <laughs> yeah. Right. I don't know, man. You look at Gore. So and that Gore song's got to be about such sex. A wild nope. card, man. You know, <laughs> some good stuff, some different <laughs> stuff. I, I Chino's. I, I think Chino is definitely one of my top five favorite Vocalist. vocalists of all time. He is good. Nice. But I give him. We'll see. He, he's always. I like him when he guest stars on other people's stuff. Do you? Yeah. Uh, like Deftone version. Mm-hmm. I feel you. I don't like it at all. I'm not yeah. into Deftones at all. Yeah. For real. Diamond Eyes. Never my. I never really. Diamond Eyes is a good song. I like that song. That album for me. But our buddy Eddie and all of them, they would fucking dude. All Deftones they would is, fucking play as Deftones. They are like, huge, oh, dude. Fucking, mm-hmm. They are fucking. I like huge. I like Chino and all the guys. I ain't got nothing against them, but I can't stand their fucking music, dude. Hmm. And the, I shouldn't be so mean. Well, the guitar player. But I, like, you know, it's like I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> guitar player is more metal. I could tell, yes. like uh, that Chino's good. They're all good at what they do, but his fucking voice puts me to sleep. <laughs> You know what? We need to add, we need to reach out to Eddie because I'm almost willing to put twenty bucks that Eddie's gonna say his favorite album is White Pony. <laughs> it would be, dude. Honestly, <laughs> I believe it. Shout out to Eddie. I miss Eddie, man. I if you grew up in the inner city, after you we loved left the your, fucking Deftones. After we left your house, dude, we went and uh, met Eddie at the. I know. The I seen. Thing, so. I seen your post on Facebook, doing, motherfucker. Man? I was just telling the wife you did. Your, stuff. Yeah. We need to get Eddie on a show, man. Eddie's a good guy. <laughs> Should have had him done. on the Metallica show. Yeah, that'd have been good. Can. Um, like, do whatever we want. I got. We ain't bought. And paid I only for. got one yep. more for that. I have down is, is was uh, Testament. It's supposed to have oh, new album. Yep. Well, interesting. No, that's gonna be fucking. Hopefully it's all April. Solid. It's all April. Yep. Oh, that's early. Okay. So that's coming, man. We got some early shit and some later shit. But this is yeah, more metal we've had in two years. <laughs> that's crazy, ain't it? Yeah. Testament. How can you go wrong with Testament? Right. They ain't made a bad album ever. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, dude. I love the dude. His vocals. They're brutal for like. They fucking 
uh they evolved whereas everybody fucking took a left turn mm-hmm. they're just like we're gonna do what the fuck we do and we're gonna get better and heavier heavier yeah and fuck yeah yep. god damn you got another Live. one ivan I'm, I'm surprised you didn't mention this one do you have any others left um yes i do um Let's devin see. townsend oh, oh i forgot about that yeah. um how do you say that empath 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 i think i don't know how to say that i think word. it's a thing off of uh, gardens of the galaxy <laughs> <laughs> it touches things and put them to sleep. I'm gonna see if he gets it. Mastodon. Oh, really? Are they? With something. I thought yeah. I heard something about that. Yep. Nice. Mastodon that is good. coming out. I, I never listened I to it. I don't know any. That's good um, shit. I don't know uh, when it's coming out or mm. if they're recording or when they're recording yeah. or whatever. Who's gonna do most of the vocals? Yeah. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. Oh, the second part of the ocean comes out this year. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Does it? Nice. Yeah. I don't that know when, but yeah. What? Mastodon reminds me of them. Throw it old versa. school Mastodon. Give me some. I think I know where you're going to, but that's going to wait. <laughs> Ginger's coming out with another album. Right. I know um, they got pushed back. Release date. Year. Um, well, their EP came out this month. Is that what it January. was? Yeah, their EP came out, but um, hopefully they'll be recording in springtime. Sweet. Across that. There's off. something so magical about a metal album coming out in the springtime, summertime, because <laughs> it's like you're you're waiting for it. It's because of all that like fucking you can finally like let your windows down and like yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly, out. man. Hell like yeah. your neighbors there, it's the cold time. during winter time. <laughs> yep. You know, you gotta get that release out during the yeah. summer. Right. Bad wolves. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. Bad yes. Yes. Coming out. Yeah. Maybe I didn't hit. Is it gonna be one? Is it gonna be bad wolves? Are they going heavier? Or are they we, sticking? We gotta see and find out. Yeah, that's find that's out. the question. Seventy five percent heavy, and twenty five percent soft. You think they're going like that? I think so. I would like them to go like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm all for do it. your do your couple hits. Mm-hmm. Keep the fans happy. Yep. Give but us damn, give means, us metal guys. That means if there's twelve songs, four of those are gonna be fucking soft. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe three. Three. Let's keep it at three. That's your number. Well, my favorite song off their other album is a soft song. So. Yeah. That's true. What was it? That your favorite one? Yeah, um, hear me now. Oh, hear me now, yeah. You yeah. hear me now. It's catchy. Okay, and we're going to pop up with some because I I doubt I got it on yeah, the list. I might be a little. Huge. I might be I'm a little. Uh, I might be a little upset. Okay. Any given day. Who's any given day? This is a band That's that uh, that I'm hardcore. Sorry. Man, man. I'm sorry. Man. Any given. They, I bet you check I, them out more too. I, they're the ones that I always put out that they did the Rihanna cover Diamonds. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. The dude's a phenomenal vocalist, okay. and like the, the the band themselves are phenomenal. The players. Breakdowns, chugs. Man, yeah. Animals, Metallica coming out with an album this year. Metallica, no. I'm just oh. fucking with you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Metallica, no. I'll tell you what, they're coming out with $138 <laughs> fucking nosebleed seats in Indy. Fuck you. Hey, they sell out every seat yeah, everywhere they, they go. Really rubbing in dry. <laughs> <laughs> do that, Jason. Right. Still it that, that's all that I got. Oh. Come yeah. on. Megadeth? All right. What's a fucking huge band that everybody's been waiting over fucking 15 oh, years? Tool, tool. Baby. Oh, Tool, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. holy shit. That, but I'm I, sorry. I, it's been too long. I, I forgot yeah. about him. Well, here's the thing. That, I don't believe him. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. Dude, the, the drummer yeah. supposedly. You fucking released that album, su- and then I'll say, okay. Supposedly says it's coming out in like a couple months, maybe two or three. Yep. Yeah. So, well, that's April, why. May, maybe? That's why the tickets, I think, it, for. It may come out. We don't know. I think that's why the tickets for, for open air were so expensive. Yep. Well, because I had buddies that were like, "I'll fucking pay that to go see Tool," and I'm I, like, "Yeah, I, 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 I would, in their dude, show, nope, nope. in their yes. own show, yes, exactly." Not but yeah, I don't know how many the fucking center. Well, I'll think about. It. Mm. Maynard's like, "Everybody, put your phones down. Yeah, <laughs> put them in the bag. <laughs> put them in the bag." <laughs> I was surprised that a perfect circle didn't do that in Chicago because they've been like, "Fuck you, dude," because yeah. they, they didn't do that there. They, they no just shit. had people walking up and down. Mm. Taking the shit, and they don't play Judith anymore. They don't. They don't play Judith what? anymore because Maynard found Christianity when his mother had passed away. I thought that was oh. the whole point of him. It was the whole point of him, but then they don't do it anymore. That's I didn't know odd. That. Ah, really? Bad props to what you believe in. That's fine. Because the, dude, that's the whole a fucking smash. the whole Tool album. Um, no, Meredith no, but the, no. The other one, uh, the Tool one, the last one that came out oh, was Ten Thousand Days, days and, and that's how long that she was. You know, had that condition or whatever. Oh, so. oh, really? Yeah, I dude. Didn't know that? Yeah. Wow. Go back and listen to that shit. That is deep. My uh, brother-in-law was trying to get. There was a song. I why would I look it up on Spotify? Because it's not on Spotify <laughs> anyway. <laughs> there was one song that he played for me that was really cool, and he said it was about his mom off of that album, and I can't remember what it was. The slower one? Yes, it was slower. The one. God damn it! I know. 
Something in two divided in two sounds hmm. something right in two maybe. Is that what that's it was? the one I think of? But I don't know if that's the one. Oh, I have to remember it. That's the that'd monkey be cool. That's cool, monkey how, monkey. I don't know how many damn years it's been since a. Uh, 2006 was that last. Yep. One. Was it really? Yeah. Oh my god! It, you know, Red. While we got you, I mean, I, I talk about all you guys all the time, but especially when uh, my wife and I are listening to music in the car, I'll just have a perfect circle come up, and if. 13th step comes oh. on. I'm like, this is that, Richie's favorite fucking perfect it circle is. album. And she's like, well, it's really good. And I'm like, no, fuck no. both of you. It's it, all about it, Verde knows, man. No, it's so it's good, good, dude. You know, I have to, I have to get her to and... talk to you about that. I'm surprised she likes that. I know, me too. I was really surprised. That's... She said that she likes Verde Gnomes, <laughs> yeah. but she really likes the 13th or the 13th. That's odd. Stuff. That yeah. doesn't strike me as an album she would like. I know. She strikes me all like with weird shit that she gets into. But uh, Ooh, that, I don't know, man. If I had to pick one, that's that's crazy. It's Verde Gnomes, man. Just don't even worry. I think, don't I, think I, like, I think I listen to that one more. Yep. No. There's some jams on 13th Thir- Step, though. I know. What was the main one? The main... We track. Weaker, power, lyrics. Yep. Yeah. See, that's I, I skipped that one. Me too. I skipped that whole album. The Outsider was the other one. The Outsider. He's like, I skipped it. I skipped, I skipped it. it. I skipped it. I don't I'm know. trying to think what my jam on that one is. Uh, Blue? It really is all the slow ones on that one. It takes that energy away. Meredith Gnomes was so... Had the heaviness, had the nice melodies. What was that other one? The Noose is on that second one. The Noose. The noose. Yeah. That's a, dude, it's just the creepiness oh, okay. of his... Pet is on there. I mean, totally better than Ghost. <laughs> Which ghost are we talking about? Slap. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, like, yeah, put on that show, like, ghosts come out and play that. I'm like, go okay. back to sleep. Go back to sleep. I woke up to that shit yeah, one time. Yeah, I was like, that. okay. That's true. It's crazy. Uh, I'm going back to sleep. Yeah, buddy. dude, uh, Mirror Night Noms definitely has the jams on it. They do. Like, yeah. And yeah, the melodies and everything. Yeah. It's so good. It is good. I like that. I was one. looking up some things. Any given day is coming out on March 15th. Oh, okay. March okay. Truth. Also, Metallica is coming out with something else. Are is there, there any, No, they're not. Are they really? Going Are it's right a live now? album. Oh. <laughs> See? Told you. Don't February 1st. King Diamond just came out, but it was called Who Cares? <laughs> <laughs> dude. And then hey. Born of Osiris just released yes. that shit, dude. Yeah, was, why didn't we say. talk about that? Because it's already history? been released. It's a release. It just yeah. released. And that, dude, I'm telling Surprise. you. It's, it was on the 11th. <laughs> Did they cha- I feel like they changed it up with some of the vocals. It's I, I've I been know. paying more attention to the music. It's it's much more technical than what it was. More technical? I Is it? So, yeah. I don't. I, I felt that the old Born of Osiris, I just couldn't really get into. I feel, I feel like, like this is more well rounded. I, I feel like they went more straightforward with this album, and the other albums were more technical. Hmm. I don't know. We should uh. I, let's, let's get into so that. Let's all go. I just yeah. started getting into them, so. Dude, because the the keyboard, I, I'm guessing it's the keyboardist that does the other. I, when I looked it up, he does the. What is it? Born of Osiris. Yeah. yeah, he does the other oh. fucking vocal. Oh, serious. Oh, serious. I don't know. <laughs> He's, I don't know. Oh, so serious. Uh, but yeah, dude, like the 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 contrast between the two. Hey, like, I'll, you I'll got say the heavy, this: heavy vocals, and you got the ones that are more. It was the the guitar player from uh, Born, Born of Osiris that turned me on to Carnival. Oh, okay. Was yeah. it really? Mm-hmm. How did that the go? Magazine. Oh, they he mentioned them or something yeah. like that. It was a Guitar World magazine. They asked him like what he was listening to or what his favorite song or something mm-hmm. was, and it was a Carnival song. So I checked it out and damn, that's got, cool. Got me into it. We had a buddy, well, uh, Ramon, love yeah, Born he, of oh, Osiris, yeah. dude. Yeah, he was in, way into that shit. The fucking drumming's phenomenal. So it's all about them drums. Yeah, they don't fuck around. Children of Bodom's coming out with something. Oh. How's he doing? I know he oh, was he had guy? a little bit of. You talk to him lately? Yeah, how's he doing? <laughs> Should you give him a cup of sugar. I know he went through some rough stuff. I know that he's been getting. Remember better. how much shit he got for making like a comment of John Petrucci in like a magazine? Yeah, oh, man. I, I read feeding. that in the magazine too. Mm-hmm. I was there for I that. It. Nice. Oh, Cradle of Phil's coming out, I think, too, with something. Are they? Yeah, I think so, because they're touring again, too, with something. I can't remember, but. This is going to be a crazy year, dude. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of Megadeth, albums. the compilation album. Ma- oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Who's Thanks, Dave Mustaine. Thanks for what? fucking getting our dicks hard about a new Megadeth album yeah. imminent, and then now it's the greatest hits for now. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Warheads on foreheads or something like that. It's what it's called. Do we need another fucking yes. greatest hits album? No. No. <laughs> Don't they have no. like two We need or a three? new album. The shit that they've been the greatest hits of this decade. Yeah, exactly. And that decade. And I would definitely decade. take Megadeth over Metallica in the last decades. Decade. I don't know if if you're looking at the big picture. Yeah. 
all together? No. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a that's a that's shot, that's, maybe. That's no, a I'm taking Metallica, know, bro. Mm. You got well, we Megadeth did sustain like, their they sustain their sound. They sustain the they mustain their sound. They mustain they mustain their sound. I mean, what can you do when you've mustained your sound, you know? <laughs> you just call no. the next album should be called Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. You can't fucking touch Metallica's first five albums. No. But they you, fucking ruined. I don't know, man. You gotta look at the whole years. fucking thing. We're not just talking about no. the f- fucking. But I don't have to look at anything else because those fucking albums were it, dude. Fine, His, but I don't know, man. No, you can't. I'm sorry, James. Fucking his vocals. Oh yeah, I mean James all day. You can't compare He's, fucking vocals, but I, I always like fucking. I wasn't fucking, able to get uh, on Mustaine's your fucking attitude. Metallica episode, guys. Sorry. I had to, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to work. Well, yeah. But God damn you. All right, I know. We gotta fuck, do. Fuck, we gotta. We do. Here's here here here's Red's follow up. Here's my follow-up, guys. I'm sorry. I know we got limited time here. Kirk Hammett may not be the better guitar player, but he, all right, he has more soul <laughs> here he goes. than Love Mustaine. It. Mustaine's like, oh, I'm a technical badass. But uh, Mustaine's, but, I wouldn't call him the lead guitarist, though. Who, Mustaine? You know what I mean? Fucking Mustaine's kind of pulling both weight. Yeah. But fucking, but fucking. James and ja- <laughs> yeah, but James is, all right, here's the thing. James has got better riffs. He had he better riffs. Had better riffs, okay? Those ones are iconic, <laughs> yes. Painful. Don't get me wrong. James has got better riffs, and Kirk has more soul in his solos. So I am I guess the duo is taking over Mustaine, because you're looking, listening to Kill Em All, and those solos are just ripping, right? And he was lead guitar. He was lead guitar in Kill Em All. He was lead guitar in Kill Em All. <laughs> but then you jump into like Ride the Lightning, Master of Puppets, and Kirk Hammett is just writing fucking epic solos that you're gonna mouth every time for the rest of your life. Yeah. I'm not gonna mouth. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna mouth. I, I, I wouldn't say that for necessarily all of Ride the Lightning. A lot of that is just like the fucking pentatonic fucking. It's just catchy. He falls into the same patterns. Like uh, and that's I'll, probably, I'll give it to you for fade fade to black. Uh, he he's a little bit better on fucking Master of Puppets. Like they're better. Yeah. And I think his best is probably between Justice and Black Album. Well, I think he, yeah. has some, he has some good ones on fucking. He keeps uh, it. I mean, I'm guessing he keeps it similar, and like you, you're the more technical out of all of us. But maybe that's why you're yeah. looking at the whole, uh, like the whole sound. Yeah, quality. It's Metallica what for he's me. Bringing out. I'll just say right now. I mean, they ruined my life for like ten years because I was like, ah, oh, nothing yeah, but else but Metallica. I would say that, like, like yeah, yeah I would listen I to, to mostly Metallica during my younger years. Yes, and then Corn is what broke me away from after that. Metallica. Mm-hmm. What broke? Yeah, what broke you away from Metallica? Well, did was Metallica your first metal? That, yeah, that was yeah, that was first for everything. I and think. then what jumped off after that? He lost his virginity to Justice. <laughs> he got his first hand jibber to Black uh, Album. You know, like maybe I just burnt myself out on it, dude. Because I oh, okay. like that was everything in high school to me. That's what happened with me in Pantera. I got burnt out real quick. It's the yeah. I got after a, Metallica for me, it was Slipknot. That's the American that, way, though. You went. Oh, I jumped. think maybe maybe it is Chimera that fucked it up for me. Chimera, maybe. Oh, hmm. if we're thinking about because around two thousand three, Impossibility came out, mm-hmm. and then that's probably it's probably early two thousands. Yeah, okay. could be because it's probably that around their Black album, well, wh- the self titled Chimera one, because it was we. Had, I went with Eddie to uh, Sanitarium two thousand three. I must have fell off a little you bit. You were there? That. Yeah. I was there too. Yeah. Good job. Jake yeah, threw one yeah. of the lemons at Fred Durst. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. Stick my dick in the mouth. I popped potatoes. his guitar player. <laughs> Did you really? I'm sorry. Not yeah. Wes. Wes is like the only one. It wasn't Wes. One in no, it wasn't, it wasn't Wes. No. That's it wasn't why I popped him. Oh, okay. I was Wes. like, fuck you. You're not Wes. <laughs> 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 I don't know, man. You're going to love this. If you want to talk about yeah, riffs all day, I would still put Death Magnetic and Hardwired in the ring against the last two Megadeth albums. As far as having oh, better, but you can't. I oh, can't. Dude. I can't. I, I'm I can't sorry. On that. They're not bad, but you can't fucking tell me that anything off of Death Magnetic holds a fucking candle to um, what the fuck is the name of the song? Head Crusher or um, there's another one on that. Well, not when you put that. I can't, I can't speak on any. There is the another stuff, one. So. It, it, it's the second song on uh, Endgame. It's after that. Oh, Endgame issue. was a badass album. And then even right, thirteen has fucking sorry. some some shit too. I didn't listen to Dystopia as much, but I know well, we were talking about that the last system week. has failed, man. Come on, I know. the vocals, I, Mustaine's vocals, just turned me off. Too. Fine, I'm fair sorry. Enough. Yeah, that's fair. I do love me some Megadeth though, but seriously, on Instagram they're posting the drummer. He's like blasting that's, that shit. That's dude. Dirk yeah. from fucking um, Soil Work. 
Is oh, it? really? Yeah. Nice. That's Mork from Mork. <laughs> That's so, awesome. Yeah, we got a, Which a good 2019 to look for forward one? to. Yes, we do. Said Absolutely. You were talking about a certain song. Yeah, super, col- super Collider. That's Endgame? what it was. Super what? Collider was garbage. <laughs> I'm sorry. Nice. It fit more of that commercial metal. It thing. did. Yeah. You're absolutely right. It didn't blow up. I felt like Super Collider was what the result of dystopia was. This day was. we fight. Come on, tell me that song isn't fucking hard as fuck. Mm. I For can... this, I was chosen. <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah. Fuck <laughs> yeah. Good shit. All right, I'm you done with you. Check that shit out. Fuck you. Go so, ahead and listen to it. <laughs> fuck you. That's a great one. <laughs> we got a good 2019 to look forward to. We're going to come back to this Megadeth versus Metallica shit. Yeah. I, ain't, I ain't done with We could this. argue for Do hours. your fucking homework. Five yeah. against five. Five songs versus five songs. Let's do it. Only oh, post-1997. But then his whole his whole argument is overall. Yeah. Oh, all right. Okay. We could split it up into two sections if you want. I'll give you fair. I'll give you fairness. I'll I'll agree to your terms. Okay. All right. So 97 and up. And five then you want to do the shit five. before? Well, 97 will be the fucking cut. Yep. We'll do the... There's a first half and the second half. Okay. Five of each, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. Sweet. All right, guys. That's going to be funsies. I love oh, it. I like this. Head-to-head battles Stay coming tuned. up here on Wasted Attention. Yeah, right? <laughs> 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 well, we're going to have to ask Dave if, if we could talk about Megadeth first. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. You're getting sued. God damn it. All right, guys. <laughs> Later. Uh, Peace. Later. Take it easy. All right. There you go. The, that was us rambling about the upcoming albums of 2019. So you heard uh, our Megadeth versus Metallica, <laughs> our debate. That's going to come up pretty soon. We also got something in the works for Alice in Chains. We're probably going to talk some post-lane Alice in Chains, maybe go back and cover the album Dirt. Maybe that'll be here in a couple weeks. Uh, depends on what we want to do first. If you guys have any opinions or you know, let us know, comment, do all that shit. But uh, maybe we'll get some guest spots for Dirt if we can make it happen. Otherwise, shit, maybe we'll reach out and see what we got for Megadeth versus Metallica. So, I don't know. Keep an eye out, man. We'll be around. See you guys later. Bye.